And that's what I like to see. Cammy deserves a lot of credit here as part of the SETI Cammy duo. This man holds it all together and he's an extremely talented solo player. So to see him continuing to excel here in game number two, that's what you love to see. But so many incredible names here. Baca, you got Statics, Queasy, all the top names folks are still in this game as game number two is getting ready to come to a close. No, not quite there yet. We still got a little while to go, especially for Queasy. If they want to try and find those final zones of this game, the final storms, they got to be careful. It feels like more and more that you're getting pushed by every single player in this lobby. We're going to get him pushed. C's pushing Pink and sending him packing for the second game. Pink, a player we haven't spoken all too much about here, but another player that was not only very prevalent at the Invitational, very prevalent through our first couple of heats as well. That he was. That he was. And look, honestly, Seas has done something that most pro players don't. He's taken the time to not only bot review his own stuff, but also share with the community some of the stuff that he finds. And his extensive knowledge of competitive, it goes, uh, it sometimes goes unnoticed. He is one of the smartest players when it comes to this game. It's all about will he show up on the day though. And that's unfortunately the reality for a lot of these players is that inconsistency I feel like is most highlighted in solos out of all the game modes. You really do have to be careful in solos because like we said, nobody's got your back. It's you and you alone. And for a couple of these players, you alone seems to be enough. A player we've been seeing pop up in the top left a lot, I was just about to mention him, is Okus. Okus, another player that we've been able to watch through a lot of different competitions. Feels like people had very high expectations for him, but unfortunately not qualifying through a couple of different teams. Finding himself a qualification for the finals in the last couple of moments and He's showing up already. He is another player showing up as Savage. Still in this game, getting some eliminations there. Unfortunately, Trashy, though, going down to Storm. This is those dangerous moments here, folks, in Storm. But also a dangerous moment here for high ground as Okins gets eliminated here. Now it is Jamper on the high ground. Oh, you got to be so careful taking that high ground. Perfect placement, perfect timing. And that's why you have to be so careful when taking it earlier in these games. If you take it too early, someone's going to contest you. And speaking of contest, it looks like Bolts is actually going to be able to find an elimination against Jamper due to him having the high ground. Someone who seems to be all too careful, low and slow in the mud here is Mr. Savage. Four eliminations, finds himself potentially a fifth, not quite able to hold on to it, but he still has perfect control here on the lower edge. Man, this is what you love to see. Bolts now contesting high ground. Looking to go up. Ooh. He didn't see the player on his left. He thought he had it free. And unfortunately takes a ton of damage. Now, no builds remain. He needs the shot and he doesn't land it. Threats takes out Bolt. But Queasy, still in this game, finds himself set up with a med miss. Now just needs to get to zone. But so many players are waiting for him to cross that line. Oh, a single shock and shock can send him packing at this point. Although, trying to go for the siphon, cannot find it. And another exit for Queasy. He finds himself into the top 10 but the bigger question who takes home number one mr savage a seventh elimination would give him a victory royale here in game number two and here it is he goes for the high ground our community favorite here in atlanta looking to finish game two strong the shots raining down above good pressure but he's running low on resources finding a bit of a refresh is going to be huge for him but will it be enough High ground versus low ground. The story as old as time. Will Savage be able to use this advantage to to him or will Shadow walk away with a potential VR? He's got to be careful though. Only 18 builds in his back pocket. If he wastes any of those, that's going to show vulnerability. He's not even going to try to build though. He's actually going to get real close to his opponent. Maybe try and catch him off guard. He's got a box in front of him. He's going to use some of the builds that he does have left. Is he going to get a shot in though? Like we said, you feel the tension. You can cut it with a knife. And Mr. Savage trying to cut away at his opponent's health. More shots firing with the AR. None of them landing as it stands right now. This is what you need to do, folks. You need to continue to pressure. The more you pressure him down below, the less resources he has to use to stay alive. And that is what Shadow is doing. Staying alive. Despite having the low ground, despite having the disadvantage in this fight, he still finds himself surviving, which is something that Savage is also doing as well. But with him on the high ground, he needs to start using that AR. He needs to start pressuring because Shadow is almost out of builds. So it is all up to Savage to finish this off, but Shadow looks to answer as well shooting up trying to knock him down but i think there's just too many layers for savage to get taken out but no Ooh. as i say that huge damage comes through shadow connecting to 
very crucial shot there almost to finish it. I will almost never say this again, but you'll hear this here and today. I do think if it comes down to a 1v1 fight within close proximity, though, Shadow might take it. He's got the perfect inventory right now. He's got a gold, he's got a gold prime on him. He's got a gold AR, but Savage is going to take the fight to him anyways. He's trying to get into his box. Prime v Prime. Savage is the one that actually has the zone as a stance right now, but he's going to go out of it and try and find the elimination, but he gets taken down for it. Like I said, Sh focus on. You don't need the eliminations right now in this moment. You don't need to overextend. You don't need to show your head. You don't need to, especially with snipers in this mind. Oh, yeah. You just need to be in the right place, right time during these moving zones, and you'll walk away with some easy eliminations, and that's what these players are looking for as everyone starts moving. And the thing is, is that that's really going to favor a lot of these players that are more experienced in late game. Two players that I think we have to highlight, and we've been talking about them all night, Seti and Kami. They finally find themselves with what I believe is going to be a later game here. Oh my, but the issue is you still got players like Threats in this game. Four eliminations already, and he's not done yet. This guy has shown himself here in the finals, and I think he's still got a little bit more up his sleeve than he has yet to show. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right, Threats. Definitely a threat, just as his name entails. He does find himself with four eliminations already. Huge start there to this end game, and now he's looking to make a fifth. You see him connect one shot there onto a chrome splash, knocking him out of the four, but not enough to fully take the fight. So many players still looming close, though. Anybody can be taken down as Threats looks for the shot to end it all for another player here in game number three. Oh, he's trying his best. He's connected a couple of shotgun shots here and there, but it's not enough to pick up another elimination. He knows he can't show his head. He does not want to be put into a risky position and makes a very smart rotate around as well. Perfect use of the launch pad there, Panda, and that might just secure him and even later stay here in game number three. Oh, and an elimination. Beautiful elimination there. Finish just so quickly onto the edge zone, and that's what you gotta do. Get ahead, look back, and get those healing. Boxing up a player, oh! another elimination comes through here as Threats takes out Cease. Oh, Threats ain't done yet. He's looking for even more. Six eliminations as we enter into just about our top 15. And Threats, like we said, he was in what? Was it like fourth, something like that? Third place going into this game? Now he's probably gonna find himself first and he just lasts a little bit longer. Again, our front runners have been dropping like flies right now. And I have a feeling that he does not want to join the fray. Threats, probably the most impressive player we have seen so far here on the night. It is not just consistency, it is the ability to frag out when the time comes. You're absolutely right, but another player we gotta highlight is Queezy. Mm -hmm. Queezy still in this game, finding himself there in the top five, now looking to perform continually, but with threats in this lobby as well, this is going to be a battle of the ages. These two players showing exactly why they deserve to be here in that moment. Huge shot comes through for threats, now getting involved. Does he get in the box? No, he actually is another player and disengages, taking a lot of damage in the process. He turned his back at the wrong time, and that really can make or break a game for you. Threats in a decent position here, but he is running out of builds. 30 left needs to be careful. And again, with so many players that are hunting for that victory royale, you make one mistake and it could be your last. Threats down to 48 health total. He's got a couple of shields to use, but that is all that he has on hand. If Threats wants to survive longer in this game, Panda, he needs a siphon. He needs an elimination. He needs something, desperately. But with other players still looming close in much healthier spots, it's going to be tough for Threats to find anything. But Aegir's looking to find one. Looking to find one in high ground. Will he be able to take it, though? He's got the build. Now, as it begins to dwindle, though, will he continue to fight for it? And he does. He continues to go up. But now the player just down below, focusing him, he needs to be more careful. He's got to be careful here, especially with the build starting to run low. He was healthy just a second ago, but as he is still fighting for that upper echelon, he is not able to secure it. And his sights get into the mud with the pigs here on the low ground. It might work out. A couple of shots landing, but he needs more than a shot to land. He needs an elimination to pick up that refresh. He needs more builds. He needs more health. Otherwise, I don't know how much longer he's staying in this game. I don't either, but Kicks still oh! in this game. Huge shot onto Agers. Agers is out, and Kicks still up on his feet. Looking to connect one more. It's a 1v1v1 here to finish off game number three. And who is it? Who is it on the high ground? Pressuring down this man. Kicks needs to hold on. Huge shots come through, but unfortunately, Kicks is out. It is a 1v1. Casker versus Queasy. Queasy, very, very weak. Casker trying to do it, and he does. Walking away with a victory ro a third victory royale of the day. Beautifully executed. Remaining. We're starting to see that upping aggression that we talked about during the first half of the day. 
back half of the day, a lot different than the first. The one consistency we are starting to see, Seti is warming up. He's getting better the further we get into this day. The issue for him, though, again, he's still got an uphill battle. He has zero eliminations throughout this one. Maybe he's relying on the late game for him to get those eliminations, but he's got to start going. He needs more than a good performance. He needs a great one if he wants to get back into the competition. Look, I'm going to be honest. Ooh. I'm looking at everybody. Thresh goes down here. The spare boat, Queasy picking up one out to Oliver OG. I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to call it now. Source going down as well. Seti uh, or Queasy win this game. Watch. Seti mm. or Queasy are going to walk away with a VR here. And it could be even a 1v2. But of course, as I say that, if it's a caster curse, Seti taking a ton of damage. Now on the back foot, does have everything to heal back up but now has to use some vital resources just to survive. Yeah, he's in a rough position overall, but the good thing for him is not everybody's in a good position. Mr. Savage in a horrible one. He will be the one that takes him out. And I called his name, I will say it again. Poppy Blast with his fourth elimination of the game. My man's is getting high. Man, he's getting active, and that's what you love to see here. Another player just trying to stay out of the activity is Seti. Staying alive here, Queasy. Wait, Queasy going down to Storm. That is Storm going to take Queasy out. Seti's still in this. He's going to use his Med Miss just to rotate forward. A big player, and a big elimination comes through as Donnie goes down. Seti's still in it, though. Now using the Chrome Flash to rotate. Good play on his part, but he needs to be directional with it. As he gets knocked back, he needs to hit the madness as quickly as possible. And barely staying alive. Another player actually appearing from behind is Kenzo, taking him out here in the final moments. And he will join Cami as well. Both of them out here. Unfortunately, your prediction not coming true. But I can't blame you for making the prediction. What on earth just happened? Chaos abound here. And the only player that seems to be playing through the chaos to be comfortable is Poppy. He's got five eliminations. We still got 12 players to go. And one of those 12 players is Sap Games there, finding his way to the front of zone here, holding it down, but Poppy now on the hunt. This guy is not done yet. He wants more. He's getting more. Huge shots come through. Not going to be able to clean up that one, but finds another one just ahead of zone here, as he potentially could walk away with more than five e My man sees a head, and he's putting his, his crosshairs right on top of it immediately. No hesitation. This is the warm-up that we said Poppy was going to turn into. He has shown himself to be more than a confident player. He might be one of the best that remain at this point, and only remaining are less than 10. Day, not going to be one of those ones to join them, though, at the end of this game. As Poppy, not only is he going to do a good job at fragging out, he's also rotating perfectly. High ground in his control and can spray from above to the rest below. Listen, I am, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Pam's dude down low is exciting, and it's exciting because that's exactly where he finds success. Pam's dude, though, could potentially walk away doing something if Poppy Blast is up going down, but man, his aggression is not slowing down. He's pressuring every other player left in this lobby, and honestly, Poppy Blast might have this one. He might have it. My only concern for him right now, he's got a single small pot on him. If he takes any damage here, he's going to need a siphon. He will need another elimination and a refresh if he wants to stay in this game. Oh, boy. Boy, Okis might be in an even worse position, though. A single build on him, and he's got no shield as well. He's actually going to retreat. Maybe try to find a couple of materials, something to work with, and it's a very risky play. The good thing, he's got the grapple on him. Going to try and glide back into the zone. He does get back in in time, but he's only got 15 health. He's going to need that elimination on Pam if he wants to survive, and he will not find it. Cam instead, the one to take him out. And although Poppy does not have a ton of builds on him, still by far in the best position in this game. Ooh! Huge Ooh. shot comes through. It gets the elimination onto Cam. Now it's a 1v1. Pamsu versus Poppy Blast. Who's going to walk away with it? Big shot comes through, but he doesn't connect onto Pamsu. Now he's just trying to hold height as long as he can. Only two bills oh. remain, but it doesn't matter. Poppy Blast! Whoop. You should be giving me my clout. You should be giving me those shots. Because if you don't give me the shot, I will take it. Speaking of taking shots right now, De Demo finding himself a fantastic shot there. Drops out a build and might have just smelled a little bit of something that'll set him off and start the hunt. Listen, one player that has taken shots in this lobby, and we haven't talked about him enough, it is Pamsu. Dropping two players just moments ago, still alive here in this game. Looking to repeat his energy there from game four. He could be another wild card here in these final moments. Speaking of wild cards, he's been a main card here. Threat finds himself another early exit. And again, we're starting to see this on repeat because a lot of those players that did well during the front half of the day are not being able to adjust to the aggression of the back half and are struggling now that players are just fragging out. However, Enpen doesn't seem to be all too afraid of that. He has had a very solid performance throughout the day. Feels 
feels like his consistency can carry him, we might see an appearance in the top 10 for this player at the end of the day. Look, we definitely can. Look at the loadout, too. You got 10 chunk splashes to work with. The legendary Prime Shotgun. I mean, look, this loadout in itself spells success. It's just a matter of how you execute on it. But speaking of success, Pantsu finding another one in the elimin in elimination piece. It's actually Assassin gonna go down here. Wait, Pink is going for the high ground, folks. This could be an interesting end to this fight. We have not seen Pink present here in previous games, so it's good to see him here in these final moments. I'm glad you brought that up, because I was about to say Pink Poof? Like, in what other sentence, or whenever else, would you ever be able to say Pink Poof? Because he really just has not shown up on the day, but maybe here in game five, that's where he turns it around. Pamsu definitely turning it around. The issue for them, though, is starting to run out of build and starting to run out of health items as well. The Chili Jug's on them, a fantastic item as it is both movement and shields but the issue is they've only got two left they've got 50 shields and they've got 14 players that are still hunting for that VR. Look I'm gonna be honest look Pam who is holding down for the French Canadian players man that community is roaring behind him I know Pam Su feeling the pressure he's not gonna crack though he is one of those that loves these moments once he gets into the end game this is where he strikes and this is where he finds all of his success now he's gonna try to find some success here from an awkward position though on the edge of zone and like we said with not a lot of builds to work with he needs to be careful and he's doing exactly that going through previous parts trying to find himself an opening and that opening is very narrow speaking of narrow everybody in a very narrow junction here as the only player with a high ground is pink and he's actually got a piece amount of builds to work with. Almost 30 total and a load out to food. The only concern I have for him, 26 AR shots. He's not going to be able to spray down walls, so when he sees ahead, he's got to hit the shots. He's got to take it where he can, but now Static's just down below. So many players still left in this, surprisingly here in these final moments as it begins to dwindle. Will Pink be able to clutch it up from height? Will he be able to take an elimination on the Statics? We're going to see that here answered as players find themselves falling crackly down. Pamsu by himself. Pink just a few players remain here. Will he be able to hold it from height? And you can even see this with Pink. He is, like we said, not wasting those AR shots. He knows how valuable they are, so he's just spraying with a shotgun from above, hoping to hit a couple shots. A player who has not seemingly missed his shots is Pam. Last time we checked in with this player, six Elims. He's up to nine now, got his build back, and he's challenging the high ground. Pam versus Pink, who's coming out on top? Pam with the high, Ooh. huge shot on the Pink. Will he be able to finish it up? He needs to. He needs one shot to turn it around. Doesn't quite get it, but there it is. Bam Stu walking away with the victory royale and 10 eliminations to finish it. Second, look, this is not good here for them, but this is great for other players who want to creep into the top 10, who want to be in the spotlight. Seti being one of them, they know they need to come back, and this could be the game that climbs them in the top 10. I'm glad you mentioned it because I haven't seen either of their names pop up thus far. Cami and Seti still in this one, and those are two players that, like we said, you can never count them out because if they have a good enough game, no! all of a sudden, they're taking it all. Pam Stow will not, though. He is out in 40 yet. And all of a sudden, that top of the leaderboard seems free as ever. I don't know what to say here, Bass, but look. Cry. It, it, it is up in the air now. There is no predictions here of who can walk away on top of the leaderboard. It all comes down to this final game, the final moments here. Will Agers be able to clutch up, though, because he's got so many players nearby. He needs to be careful. Source still in this game, getting an elimination there. On to Murphy, and unfortunately going to go down to another West player in Thoric. There are so many players still in this game, though, that we have been talking about with the potential to pop off and really shake up our standings. And I wonder if that's going to be enough to shake up our top 10 in its entirety. Look, at this point, I don't know who's coming out on top. I've been trying to do the mental math, but uh, math is not the strong suit of a caster. I think you and I can both <laughs> agree upon that one. But what is the strong suit here is going to be positionally how these players play this final game. So many players starting to get aggressive. Ooh. Will it pay off? Ager's backed off and out of the game. Pump going to be the one to do so. And we've been talking about the pop-off potential from Pump. Is this the game where he changes it all and takes home the championship? I could see it, man. Pump looking for any Thing that he can get. He does see another player close by, takes the shot. Unfortunately, he's going to miss, but he's not done yet. He's going to be hunting. Zero builds in a dream, though. He needs to find some kind of refresh here shortly, or he could be out. 
Oh boy, but you know who isn't out of this one? Cami or Seti. They are both still in this and find themselves placements within the top 25. I don't know if it'll be enough to change this entire thing and take home first, but we'll have to find out. Speaking of repeat performances, Kasker, one of our VR winners on the night. Could he Ooh. be the one to take another one home? He just might. Elim one, can he find two? No, he backs off and heals up instead. Smart to do, because with 18 to go, this could be make or break for Kasker. This is going to be a tough year finish, but Cam still in this. Cam getting an elimination on Tathoric. Kasker just trying to get the shot there. Does not connect. It's still alive. Ocus is out here. Nerf Face picking up that one. You got Donnie Bot picking up two eliminations on the crazy GGs and Shapiro. And this game is ending fast. This game is out of nowhere from 0 to 100 without a second hesitation. Everybody puts pedal to the metal and sees if they can go home a champion. Seti will not take a VR on the day, but his teammate in Kami is still in this one. Still in it. Could he do something here as Casker on 1 HP in the Dream? Just trying to connect Ooh. the shots, but Whoa. no, he goes down. Cammy takes him out. Cammy's still alive here in the final moments, and he gets ahead of his own. He takes a 180 and sends another one packing. Pack your bags and head home because we are almost done with the Dream Hack Atlanta Open featuring Fortnite. Donnie Bot, the one on top. He's got the high ground, but he drops low and takes himself out from glory to nothing. What happened? What happened is Cammy was paying attention because now Cammy on the high ground looking to finish this up. He gets an elimination there off the nerf Now going back up. No, the misplay comes through. And Impin walks away with the final victory royale of. Bolt's taking it all home. He may not have been able to find himself the most impressive final performance, but he finds a good enough one to secure 